Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Relation Management Project. Now in the previous tutorial, uh, we add this delete option and if we click it, uh, we can delete the data from the database. Now in this tutorial, we are going to update all those data. So yeah, we will have a delete, uh, sorry, update button over here and if we click the update, update button, it will take us to another page where we can update the data. Okay, so let's go back to our code and uh, over here, uh, you can see action right we will just add another action over here so let's copy it and uh, paste over here we will say over here action 2 and we will also copy this delete option and uh, over here we will just say update update so let's save it control s and let's refresh so here you can see we have the update option over here so now we are going to uh, give it a URL name. We will say update view. Okay. So let's save it. And we also keep this dollar dot ID. Now we will go to web.php. Uh, let's just copy this. Control C, Control V. And over here we will say update view. Okay, and let's say our uh, function name will be same, which will be update view as well. Control S. Now we will create this function in the admin controller. So let's go to admin controller. And over here, uh, we'll just say public function. Then uh, our yarn name was update view. Then uh, to second bracket we need to declare a variable dollar data is equal to our table name which was put and then we need to say find dollar id okay we also need to mention over here dollar id as well then after that uh, we will we need to return a view over here so we will say return view and then uh, then we will give to double quotation over here and uh, uh, we will say over here admin dot uh, update view okay and we will compact uh, I mean I will uh, send this dollar data to this uh, view so it's a compact then first bracket to double quotation and inside it we will say data so let's save it control s now we don't have this uh, update view so we we'll create this update view just click uh, on admin folder then click new file update view dot blade dot php so control s save okay now over here we are going to copy some code from our uh, admin home so let's copy it control a control c and we will paste it over here update view control v control s okay so now let's refresh over here and if we click update it will uh, take us to this page but uh, here you can see that uh, there is no css actually these things happen when uh, sometime we try to pass data in laravel so the, the uh, solution is really simple uh, we just need to say over here inside the head we just say over here base href equal uh, slash public okay and if we save it and if we refresh over here we will see the all the css over here okay so that was the solution now uh, we will copy some more code over here and we will go to foodmenu.blade.php then uh, over here we already write a uh, like input field over here so i am just going to copy this form so let's copy uh, from this uh, division just before a little form and let's copy it up until this part so control c and we will paste it uh, after this uh, nav bar so control v let's control s and if we refresh we should be able to see the input field over here now we are going to make some changes over here now uh, in the admin controller you can see that uh, we pass uh, dollar data so we can get 
get those data in this space so we just need to say over here and uh, we just remove this placeholder and instead of place placeholder we will say value and inside this value uh, we will give two second bracket and uh, then we will say dollar data then dollar data which was title t i t l e title okay so since we are uh, showing just only on data so we don't have to use add data for each okay so now let's save it and we'll do the same for every <coughs> input field so let me just copy this value control c and over here we'll just paste it control v uh, again for description control v need to make the changes over here instead of title over here it will be price then uh, this one will be description okay so let's save it now uh, <coughs> here you can see a uh, image level right so let's have this image at the end after description control V and uh, we will paste it again control V now this over here we will just say old image and instead of input field over here uh, we will say image then we will give the image source which was inside food menu sorry food image slash we will say dollar data image uh, let's also give a uh, height and width let's say height will be 200 and uh, width will be 200 as well so let's save it control s and uh, if we refresh now you can see the title price uh, description old image and over here we have a image uh, section where we can choose image right so instead of old image here we can see here just say new image <coughs> okay so over here uh, you can see there is a url so we will just uh, change the url from upload food to update okay so let's save it control s now we will go to web.php uh, and uh, okay we also need to uh, send the id name from update view so over here we will say comma dollar data id okay so now let's save it again and let's go to web.php and let's just copy this on again and paste over here and instead of get this time it will be post after post uh, we will just say over here update id then uh, this name will be update function name will be update so let's save it control s now uh, let's go to admin controller now let's click the uh, create uh, the function public function update update then we will see over here uh, we also need to give dollar id over here dollar id and then we can just copy it from here uh, dollar data put find id control v and then after this uh, we are just going to copy some more code from here from this upload function we are just going to uh, copy from here to here okay so control c and we will just paste it uh, inside this uh, update function control v okay so we will find the id then we will change the image uh, if you want it then we will also give the title price description and then save it okay then return the view so 
let's save it control s now let's go back to our browser so let's refresh over here again and let's change the let's change the price to uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. okay and uh, uh, let's uh, change the description to QC and uh, blah 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 okay and let's also change the image so instead of burger image uh, let's see we have uh, some more image or not let's just keep this uh, captain america image so open it here you can see captain um, captain dot jpg now if you click save okay there is an undefined variable request uh, okay i can see the problem dollar image uh, equal dollar request image now uh, since we are requesting the image so we need to say over here request request dollar request okay then comma dollar id so let's save it and uh, let's refresh our head again so here you can see that, that uh, the image is changed and uh, so as the title price and description and if you go back let's click board, uh, food menu here you can see that the image is changed okay so this is how you can update data in uh, in this laravel project so in the next tutorial uh, we will do the uh, shapes or maybe reservation uh, i haven't decided uh, which one i will do first so see you in the next tutorial and thank you very much for watching and if you face any problem then let me know in the comment section